Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I am looking at Space Run. Space Run is a game where you take the well, you take on the role of Buck Man, made up name if ever I heard it, uh, who is a space pilot and trader, and you fly your spacecraft along various trade routes. It is an interesting combination of spaceship game and well, tower defense. And before you go running off at the thought of another tower defense game, I don't cover them very often on here, to be honest. But yeah, you, it has a lot going for it. Let's go and take a quick look at what the way how it looks. Okay, so what you have here is you've got delivery and engineering. Your your job is to deliver stuff and. Depending upon the company you're working with, the stuff you're delivering has various properties. Big Cargo is your generic cargo transport um, company. You know, you can stick these on your ship. As you go further on, you get things like mechanics who will actually let you build more cargo. Kind of some logical flaws with how that exists, but, uh, you know, okay, you can, you know, try to spend some of your... Uh, some of your energy, some of your cash on building more cargo so you get more points at the end. The nuclear star people, their cargo is incredibly sensitive and it has a habit of exploding if it is hit. Uh, VIP travel, which is uh, the brainchild of the eccentric mega billionaire Brandon Richards, uh, he's all about a space, you know, space tourism. And the cargo in this case are passenger cabins which have to sit on the exterior of the spacecraft. So you can't just stick them in the middle of the spacecraft and hope, you know, use the hull to protect them. You have to stick them on the outside so they can get a great... so they can be exposed to all the action, I guess is the correct term. And the last one I've unlocked, but not the last one in the game, is a out-of-this-world uh, enterprises, I guess. These guys have some strange alien crystals, which have a nasty habit of sucking power from the rest of your spaceship. So you have to build your spaceship knowing that if you put anything next to these, they're going to be sapped for power. Now, uh, when I say building, I'm just going to go here. This is... Um, this is the engineering section. Uh, what you can do is over time you can unlock various parts. For example, if I have 5,000 credits I can unlock the, the rocket battery or I can upgrade my twin blaster. So these are weapons. You can see that down here they show you what kind of uh, features they have. They fire missiles that do 25 per second. This m module cannot target small enemies. Important. You can change the way these face. The Twin Blaster, well you notice this, it shows that it has a wide field of fire here. And then the Rocket Battery, it actually takes up two spaces. Similarly, you can go on the defensive modules. We have Force Fields, we have Ion Cannons, and uh, further down we get Magnetic Shields and Anti-Missile Defense Units. Uh, in the under utility, we have space thrusters. Obviously, you need space thrusters to fly through space. And uh, power generators help enhance certain items. Some items need power generators to actually function. Others can only activate certain bonuses when there's a power generator next to them. And of course, yeah, you have the various cargo types here. Fuel tanks, um, not repairable, radioactive, Radioactive construction deals damage around it when it's destroyed. Same with the nuclear cistern, which is big. We have the rooms, which have to be in the exterior, or this strange crystal. And then, of course, you have a whole bunch of bad guys, which we have seen in the game. Anyway, let's actually attempt a delivery. And I'm just going to go back and do this Guardian one again, because it seems like a good idea. This icon basically tells us that we're going to have uh, an, a pirate come along. Specifically, uh, Brownbeard. Nice art, I'm sure. I, I, I like how uh, Buckman has this nice selection of pens in every colour so that when he's grading papers, he can always pick the right colour. Okay, so this is my spaceship. It's all made of hexagons and all the parts go in there. Um, engines have to face backwards. Cargo, uh, you kind of want this to be somewhere near the middle of the, you know, vessel. We have a couple of these. Um, not sure, I'll put that one there. Okay, so this will be uh, the core of my vessel. We're going to start off and head out into space. Uh, we're rather under-equipped. Of course, the idea is that we equip our spacecraft as we travel between the stars. 
So at the bottom, this is uh, our attempt, this is our speed. We want to get towards our target as quickly as possible. And uh, if you don't go fast enough, then uh, you don't up. get all the rewards. So we've already been told there's bad guys coming in, so I'm putting these in place. And I realized I should have put the twin blaster up that way. That's a really bad idea. Well, never mind. So much for that. Twin blasters have a much wider field of fire. But we have some uh, asteroids coming in from this direction. So yeah, this is my uh, score, or this is my money, this is my... Uh, oh, what is that? I forget what that is. <laughs> okay, so we hear some asteroids coming in, you see we're knocking these down, and as we knock them down, you see they leave little tokens behind. Which of course we can use to make our spaceships more better. Okay, now let's uh, put some big weapons on the front here. Let's put some missile launchers on the front. These will do a lot more damage to the hostiles. Ready to blast away. Ready to blast away. Excellent. I'm going to put a power generator here because I want to make sure I have power for all my things. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Ready for action. That one will not have much of a field of fire, but it will do plenty of damage. So I can actually reorient some of these. That's obviously a feature which you unlock over time. I can do wide angle on this so that it's more likely to hit these targets. And then we have more bad guys coming in. Not good. But I'm going to do my best to keep everything alive. And... Oh yes. Nice, nice shooting techs. There we go. I'm going to do that. So this thing, actually I built it. I built it and I don't have enough power. No. Also, so here down, this is my... Uh, this is how fast I have to go to complete the level. I'm not going fast enough, so I'm going to have to build some engines. Okay, I'm going to do rapid fire. Rapid fire! Shoot all these guys. Shoot all of them! And I've already lost my missile launcher. Oh, you know what? Reorient. And... Rapid fire! And I'm still hoping to have enough cash to build one of these. Go. I should build a new right engine away. here. And this one's tight and shutting down Thruster right now. Ready, ready to burn? What? Oh, thruster ready to burn. Yes, of course. Burn away, young chap. I sure we can use such a thing. Okay. Oh yeah, we need we need the we need the power thing on. Aye, aye, my captain. Now that built, we should actually start shooting this light transporter. He, he's just like a innocent bystander I can shoot for bonus points. I should probably... If I can put two of those on there, that will be a big advantage. So now you see that we're actually starting to pick up some speed here. Okay, so... I'm going to tell this thing to rapid fire. Shoot as many rocks as you can. No, rock, no! Okay, we did it. We did it! And... That's like putting a square peg in a triangular hole. That voice, incidentally, is my android, and he is annoying as Just not anything. logical. Just not logical. Yes, I'm you sure I hear you've told us these things a million times. Okay, this Thruster is going to go here and here. Thruster ready to burn. This baby has teeth. This baby has teeth. You know, you're gonna probably want to turn off the the voices after a while because it doesn't. Get, it's not the most interesting. Okay, repair. Repair that. Repair. Get everything repaired. So you're trying to balance spending money in defenses versus money on all your other features. Oh. Goodness gracious me, let's repair this engine while I can. Oh, and there's these guys coming! Not good. Repair. That was not good. Okay. And I'm gonna put an extra laser there because that laser will be quite useful for attacking this target. This baby has This baby has rapid fire enabled as well. Your wish is my command. Rapid fire. 
Rapid fire requires a turret be placed next to um, next to a power supply so that you can actually use its special power thingy. And if your ship takes enough damage, incidentally, these bits, you can't repair them. Uh, the spacecraft can actually get broken and bits will fall off it, which is obviously bad news because it means that you suddenly don't have space. That you, you know, your spacecraft is smaller. Less buffer, you know, less space to put shooty things. Shooty things we like to just have. Just not logical. Just not logical, I know. I should really think about what your I'm doing. I'm just putting command. more guns on here. No I'm way. really, at this point, not even thinking. I should put some this shields on, too. Yeah. I can't do that! I can't do that! fire! Rapid fire! Take down all those... Oh, he's gonna hit my... Keeps on hitting my engines on that side. Ah, repair. Repair that. It doesn't look like there's many bad guys coming on in this side. So it does have that whole tower defense problem of when you know the patterns the, the thing is a lot easier it really does um, you know you can find yourself in a situation where you just can't beat a level until Excellent you go back choice. repeatedly and figure out the patterns and try to hyper optimize your setup this baby has teeth it has guns guns everywhere I'm going to put a laser on here Right away. Okay, Ready rapid fire! Action. Ready for action! Ready to deliver some damage! Nothing brings joy to my heart like watching a pirate blow up. <laughs> Nothing brings joy to my heart. Okay, can I do that? I'm just going to put guns this everywhere because I'm pretty sure this pirate is going to show up any minute now. Right away. See, the other thing to be aware of is you have to be careful. Like putting a square peg you have to be careful you don't have firing arcs overlapping because they simply it's won't work. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like putting this guns all over this thing at this point. I've just given up trying to make this work. Let's put some shielding on here actually. That will work. Right away. Shielding will be a nice bonus. Oh. Now this, this, this is the arc showing which direction the bad pirate dude is going to come from. So now, urgh. oh yeah, you know what I should do? Uh, not That's that. Like putting a square, a square peg, peg in a triangle, triangle hole, right in a triangular hole, whatever, right. This will protect us. Oh yes, Surrender. here we go. Surrender or die, I am the I'll pirate. Three. I'll blow you out of the sky. Nice rhyming, sir, because if this were a freestyle competition, Bugman would be the winner. Okay, here come the hostiles. And rapid fire, rapid fire. No rapid fire on that one. And then this is gonna hotfix everything. That's beautiful, so it's hotfixing everything near it. That's one of the special abilities that you can bring out to it. Rearrange that, and start rapid firing. Actually, no, no, I'm not going to do that. Come on, keep shooting! And he can't turn. He can't turn. No, he's okay, he's flotating right away. Let's repair this. Ah, then look, we totally smashed up that uh, pirate. Brown beard, brown nose, brown, uh, brown eye, whatever. Wow, that was bad. That was bad. Yes, that was. That was a really bad joke, and I should not have said it. Um, I, I admit it. I admit it. I should be. I don't want this on my resume. No. Rapid fire! Rapid fire! Come on, kill this guy. Get all the firepower on him! Yes! Go on! Yes! Brownbeard is defeated! I bet this impresses Susanna Sire, who is the CEO of uh, the big cargo, wouldn't it? Sweet! So I may have defeated Brownbeard, but, um, well, 
Oh, I, I totally wasted my chance to actually build containers and make more cargo. That's something I should have been doing. Right away. Yes, right away. Well, right away is too late now because I'm going to get to the target and... Um, yeah, you know, wasted opportunity and all that. Spent almost 10 minutes on this. Obviously, if you put more engines on, you're going to go faster, which means you're going to get better times and you're going to get better payouts at the end. But it obviously also means that you have to deal with the hostiles arriving a lot faster and that can really make a big difference. So, you know, there's a, an eternal balance between optimizing wow. for defense and attack. Hey, good job. <laughs> yes. That guy, incidentally, that is Adam12. He is an android who is your android companion, full of snide comments. And they're funny at first, but after a while, <laughs> you just want to shoot him in the head. So yeah, I completed that. That was a standard delivery, which means I got a reputation of three. I didn't make a huge... You know, huge jump there, but hey, I probably have something I could spend it on. I could make my ion cannon better at confusing small targets. That would be nice. Or I could save up for better twin blasters and things like that. But yeah, this is... This is Space Run. Um, it's tower defense in space. It has a lot going for it. It's certainly different. It's available on Steam for uh, like $15, discounted right now if you are uh, if you get it before the end of the month. It's from uh, Past Tech Games, and uh, it, I think it's worth playing at that price. A lot of enjoyment to be had. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.